My CNC has been busy making shelf brackets. I have a couple different versions. This I pair up with another one, like I did up here for the cherry. And then I have this type, which is just a real sturdy shelf. You can put just a 12 inch plank up here, one by 12, and make a nice shelf. These make great beginner projects for your CNC. Stick around, I'll show you how I did this. Show you how I make these brackets. I make two of them at a time. So one by 12, I've got designs for one by eight, one by 10, and a one by 12. All made in V-carve, and I've been playing around with uh, how they hang on the French cleat. So this is a design that I like. I'll go ahead and get this thing cut. Once I put the wood into the up against the fence, I know exactly where my X, Y, zero is. All I have to do is set the Z. And I've already done that, so I'm just gonna clamp this, use a cam clamp, clamp it tightly. I've cut out enough of these, this is a, and I know at 14, I'm clear to put a top clamp on. See this one was a little close. Glad there would. Go to X, Y, zero. I've already set the Z, so I know, I know I'm good there. So I'll go ahead and get this started. Okay, let's see what we got. One of the things I check to see if I cut all the way through. And the beauty of having a fence is I can, if I didn't cut all the way through, I could just jam it in here, make up a new tool path to cut a little deeper. If you look on the back, it looks like I could have gone a little deeper, but I should be able to get that out of there, no problem. So I've got an oscillating tool that I use a lot if I need to cut a lot, but it looks like I could probably do this with a box cutter. Now I'll save this, you'll see, for pieces that go in between these two brackets. Some of my designs, I only put the dowel holes in half an inch instead of all the way through. Okay, now I'll take them over to the router table and cut the tabs off and clean them up. Now, if you're ever making a cross cut on a table saw like I'm doing here, it's wider this way than it is this way. So you have to be careful as you guide it through the fence. And don't put any pressure on this to push it up against the fence in the back of the blade. You'll get kicked back. So what I like to do is just use this as my main guide. You'll see what I mean. My hand may be over here but I'm only guiding it along. I'm not putting any pressure at all on it. I right, used up that scrap nicely. Have some nice three quarter inch that I'll have to pound into here. Anyway. And now it's time to glue these up. To be honest, these things probably don't even need glue. Just hammer them until they're flush with the other side. I like to drill these 3 8 inch holes. That way I can use this dowel and cut it off about here and then hang and then hang stuff with it. So this is, this is how it goes onto the French cleat. Makes it nice and strong. That's what I use to hold all this cherry up here. This one I'll pair up 
This is an earlier one I made with pine. This will work just fine. It's so much lighter. This poplar the way to go. So let me get some wood stuck on here. Well, thanks for sticking to the end. If you want plans for this, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I won't provide them. I think you'll find these useful. And if you're a CNC -er, this makes a great first time project. So give it a try. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.